This farmer field day seeks to showcase best agricultural practices in rice production and serve as a pathway to embrace technology and innovative transfer, adoption and sharing of experiences. And this platform is created so that people will learn good agricultural practices uh, from each other, that are the farmers, and in turn they will interact. It will bring networking among them. And also technology transfer will be easier then. And we will want to close the gap. That's why we are creating Farmer Field School with the Roots Project also, because it's the best approach. Farmer Field visits are essential periods to learn and develop new methods and network, enabling extension workers to enjoy producers on emerging strategies. Roots Regional Coordinator Kadi Bojan Saidi said Farmer Field Days showcase farmers and partners' commitment to increase crop production towards national food security. This scheme is a major promoter of nutrition, inclusive growth, and shared prosperity for all. Field Day is organized every year by the Roots Project in one of our intervention sites. We have 19 intervention sites in West Coast region. All of them are represented here to showcase what Benefit has done in their rice field. Participants in all the intervention sites will learn from the good practices of what is happening here in Benefit. They also can learn from other intervention areas. Village representatives, Imam Alaji Gassama, VDC chairman Lamin Sanyang hailed the field day for its impact and commended the Roots Project and Department of Agriculture for their commitment to food security and economic growth. Regional Agriculture Director Bakari Kasama underscored the high premium placed on food security by the Department of Agriculture amid efforts to promote sustainable livelihoods. Extension delivery is to advise, inform and show them the way that if they follow, at the end of the day, they will improve uh, you know, their income and, and, their, and their production. So agriculture cannot feed the nation, but the farmers can feed the nation. The West Coast Region Rice Growers President, Karafandim Baji, called on farmers to be more proactive in their approaches in boosting crop yields. Deputizing for the Governor of West Coast Region, the Regional Community Development Officer Alaji Jawara underscored the project's resolve to provide necessary support needed to ensure successful implementation of regional food security goals. Providing seeds for the farmers, providing them herbicide with an opportunity of plowing, that's a great dimension that can help reduce the labor on the women and with their intervention they are helping to save the life of our women and also reduce that labor pattern on them. He noted that the attainment of food self-sufficiency requires concerted efforts by all stakeholders lauding farmers for their support in the noble crusade. Several other speakers reiterated their call on farmers to move towards amplified production in order to augment food availability and promote poverty reduction while commending the Roots Project for their continued support. Rice is the garbage table cereal with a capacity to drive poverty reduction amid fresh water wetlands and high arable fields. Authorities are bent on pushing production levels to increase current output in what looks to be an enduring national quest to attain food self-sufficiency. Yes, for Boyan. GRTS become a West Coast region.